June is flying by, Comic-Con is over, so it is time for another haul. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Geek City and today we are going to be looking at just stuff from June because uh, family came over and so we did some shopping and then Comic-Con. Uh, and so with Comic-Con I didn't buy as much stuff um, but I bought things that were more expensive so the haul is not as big. And I'm not posting a vlog because uh, those Comic-Con vlogs are I don't like recording because I want to look at the stuff because this is a lot of times stuff that you don't really find in New Worlds. So I don't, I don't like to record them. And also, you can't record any guests, so that's also no fun. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Yeah, so, so first we're going to show off the signatures um, from the people I met. Not as many this year. The lineup wasn't as good, but it was still, uh, you know, still cool to meet some of these people. So we got Tom Wilson, who played Biff. Oh, uh, he's pretty cool. Um, this is my dad's, so... Alright, so then here is um, Alan Tudyk. He's a you know, voice actor. He's been in a ton of different stuff. A lot of Disney movies. He was Joker in the Harley Quinn show, uh, Green Arrow in the Injustice games, Firefly, a ton of different things like that. Uh, Jamie Kennedy from Scream got him to sign this here. Really cool. He was really nice. Glad to meet him. And then we met Tom Kenny, who played SpongeBob. And so he originally... My sister was going to get her own because she, she was a big fan. And me and my dad were going to share one. But he was so nice. He gave us each our own, which was just really, really awesome. He did not have to do that. So, yeah, those are all of the signatures. So, yeah, really cool. I also have one more signature. And I already owned this figure. But basically, oh, so basically Nolan North came to Comic-Con. He's a voice acting, especially in video games. Uh, he does a ton of stuff. He plays Nathan Drake in the Uncharted games, Deadpool. Uh, he's in The Last of Us, but he also... Uh, he also played Tony Stark in the Marvel uh, game, but he plays... He also played Penguin. And so I got him to sign my McFarlane figure. And we talked about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I don't want to reveal things that we talked about. Uh, but let's just say I know some upcoming stuff about uh, the future for the Arkham franchise that's all i'm gonna say um maybe if this if if i get a lot of likes on this video i will reveal what it is but um so if you want to know what that is share this video but yeah it's really cool let me put it up there all right so there it is right there sign i don't know you can't really see it from over there but yeah it is now signed that's so cool really really cool all right now let's get on to the actual haul so here are all, see, these are some lego figures i don't usually collect legos but these are customs. They're really cool. I don't think we're ever going to get any actual Legos of these, so I thought I'd take advantage of them. Uh, here is a Cyclops, which I, I, I think Cy Cyclops has had a Lego before, but this is just really cool looking. If I can get that into focus. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay. Great, great, great. Well, here it is. Sorry, it's not focusing, but... Yeah, there he is. He's really cool. Set him right here. We also have some Invincible ones. We got uh, Invincible, the titular character. And uh, Omni-Man, his father. So again, I don't think we're ever going to get Invincible Legos. So I thought I'd take advantage of that. I hope they had some Mortal Kombat ones, but they didn't. And we got, um, we'll put this to next. Magneto. Which again, I think we've had a Lego one, but it's really cool. We'll also put Daredevil. Uh, I like again these Marvel ones just looked really cool and they look better than the actual ones we've got released so I decided to get them anyway. And now we have all four of these are from the boys. So we have Homelander, looking you know super Homelandery, Starlight. They're all out of focus, but whatever. Queen Maeve. And then the Deep. They also had the A Train that was like his African suit. I hope they. I wish they just had like an original, you know, like his original one, but they didn't. And then there was a Stormfront. It, I almost got those two because then I would have six out of seven of the seven members. But it's cool. They didn't have any Black Noirs. It would have been cool if I could get all of the seven. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We uh, we'll we'll thug it out. Let's put these up. Put these up real quickly. Yeah. 
These are really cool. So there's a total of nine of them. They're pretty cheap too. Here are a ton of cards that I won from an arcade Injustice machine when I was hanging out with family. We went to Spinners and they had an Injustice arcade machine. And basically, in the Injustice Arcade, you can unlock cards that you can, you put them on the scanner, and then you will get to play as those characters. Uh, on my, in, in the arcade that I was playing at, the scanner didn't work, but I still got the card, so that's what matters. So we got, um, here, these are my three best cards. Harley Quinn animated boss card, so the maxed out stat, so this is my strongest card. And then we also have a gear card for... Arkham Origins Batman and New 52 Nightwing. So these cards come with gear. So those are my strongest. Those are my three strongest cards. And then we have. Um, we're we're gonna speed run these because there's a lot of them. Killing Joke Joker. Um, Insurgency Harley Quinn. Uh, Regime Sinestro. Uh, Regime Cat. No. Uh, yeah. No. Just base Catwoman. Uh, Insurgency Lex Luthor. Harley Quinn. New 52 Nightwing. Uh, New 52 Flash, New 52 Green Lantern, another normal Harley Quinn, uh, normal Sinestro, normal, uh, no, Insurgency, no, Regime, Solomon Grundy, uh, normal, uh, Nightwing, Arkham Origins Bane, that one's really cool, normal Sinestro, normal Flash, another, uh, Regime, Solomon Grundy, another normal Nightwing, another Insurgency Harley Quinn, Nightfall Bane, Another new 52 Nightwing. There's a lot of Nightwings in here. Zod. Red Sun Wonder Woman. Uh, this is the uh, Earth 2 Flash? Uh, Else nope. Elseworld Flash. Wrong one. Um, Regime Nightwing. Got a lot of Nightwings in here. Uh, Normal Joker. Red Sun Superman. Uh, Arkham Harley Quinn. Uh, Prison Superman. Arkham Origins Deathstroke. This one I'm really excited. Glad I got that one. Uh, Insurgency Batman. Uh, Normal Doomsday. Arkham Origins Batman. Uh, Normal Green Lantern. Uh, Containment Doomsday. Another Zod. Uh, Normal Solomon Grundy. And then General Zod from Man of Steel. So those are pretty cool. They're cool cards. I'm not. I don't play this machine a lot, so I thought I'd just cash in and try to get as many as I could from playing. And this is the only machine I really played. Uh, I had fun. It was a lot of really, really cool stuff. All right, so now we got figures and comics. Uh, so these first two are from Comic Con. So we got uh, Walking Dead figures. First have a uh, Herschel Green missing the leg, and then Abraham Ford. These are both from the same wave. I actually have. Three from this wave. I have a governor, uh, the governor over there. So this is the season four wave, I think. Um, they're really cool figures. Uh, I don't own anything Herschel and Abraham, so I thought, why not? And then, this is what I'm really happy about. This is really cool. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9 Scorpion figure. I was, uh, so this was 80 bucks. I managed to do a deal with him for 60, because if you're paying with cash, they're more likely to, like, do deals with you. I don't know why, but they are. It was really cool. Never seen this before, so I was glad to pick it up. Got three Funko Pops, two of them just from Hot Topic, and then another one from Comic Con. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Here. All right, so we got Wolverine from Deadpool. Wolverine. I'm really excited about the movie, so I thought I'd pick up the Wolverine Funko Pop. If I see Deadpool, maybe I'll pick up the whole set, get the other one. But really cool. And then we have Michelle Myers. I love Halloween, and they they and they had one from like. When Funko Pops first came out, they made a Michael Myers, and it was really bad. So I'm glad they made a new one. Along with they made a Leatherface. They need to make a new Freddy Krueger and Jason. Those are both really old. They, we need a new one. <clears throat> but this is the best Funko Pop I got. A Deadly Lion Scorpion. Really, really cool. Uh, got it for 30 bucks. It was, um, I think it's around like 60 bucks online, so not bad. Now here are the comics. One of them are from Comic-Con. The other ones are just from my pool list. So here is Batman issue 386. Black Mask first appearance here. Um, this is yeah, an original copy. It's like 50 bucks. Um, not bad. I think it's around 100 online. I checked it. That's not a bad deal. Not bad. Uh, not bad. Um, I, these are all from my pool list. So we're not going to go through every single one of these. We're just going to kind of go through them fast. 
Or hold on, let me get to these first. The collected editions. So these are all just from my comics store that I found. So X Men is Future's Past. One day, in a while, this will be long down the line. But one day, I would like to do an X Men reading order. There's so much crap that I'd have to cover, but I'd like to do it one day. So I need to catch up. So here is Days of Future's Past. You know, an iconic story here. Okay, these are really cool. Batman Arkham Unhinged Volumes One and Two. They don't make these Arkham comics anymore. They're really hard to find. Uh, and I think they're releasing Omnibus, but I've always been trying to find them. And I just happened to find Volumes 1 and 2 at my comic shop, but they've never been there before. But I have, I found them, Volumes 1 and 2. Trade paperback hardcover. I need to read. I'm excited to read these. Because I think they, they take place before Arkham City, if I recall. And then another one I'm really excited about. I read this one already, Transformers Volume 1. I love this Energon universe. I need to read the, um, what's the one called? It's like a, hold on. Void Rivals. That's the one that's like the, the that's the one that started this in the John universe. I need to read that. I haven't read it yet. I'll pick up the trade probably. But this was given to me for my birthday, late birthday present. I right, hear all the single issues. We're gonna go through these quickly. Um, okay. Amazing Spider Man issue forty nine. Amazing Spider Man issue oh 50, issue fifty is a is a way bigger issue. It's like thick. I haven't read any of these. I need to. This is a blood, uh, blood hunt tie-in. So. Amazing Spider-Man fifty-one, and then here are Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt one and two. Hold on, crap. Yeah. All right, and then we have. All right, and then we have a uh, Ultimate Spider-Man issue five. Got some Batman books here. Batman Dark uh, Batman 147-148. Uh, Dark Prisoners. That stuff. Suicide Squad, Kill the Ark Kill Arkham Asylum 4 and 5. So that closes out the series. It was fine. It was kind of pointless, but it's just basically them it's just the Suicide Squad killing more Arkham characters. They just love doing that. Titans issue eleven. I really like the Titans run. Uh, Wonder Woman issue nine. I really like this Tom King run. It's really good. Cobra Commander issue 5 right here. Energon Universe issue 1. Uh, then we got ooh. Scarlet issue 1. Cannot wait to dig the uh, deep dive into that one. Transformers issue 8 and 9. So yeah, that is everything. Um, let me know what you picked up this month in the um, comment section. Let me know what you think of the haul here. And as always, stay geeky.